An auctioneer, Mr. Alex Smart, contracted by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture to dispose of vehicles at the ministry from 2011 to 2013, has admitted that he did not go by the laid down procedures and pleads that the Public Accounts Committee pardons him. However, some members of the Public Accounts Committee in insisted that Mr. Alex Smart be made to refund some of the over 33,000 Ghana cities he took from the state as his commission. The invitation of the Public Accounts Committee to the Ministry of Food and Agric follows the discrepancies in funds supposed to have been realized from the auctioning of some over 20 vehicles. Questions raised by members of the committee included time frame used by the beneficiaries to pay for the auction vehicles, the percentage earned by the auctioneer, and whether he really deserved it. The two entities did not account for all the proceeds realized from the disposal within the required time frame of 24 hours, as stipulated in Section 15.1 of the Financial Administration Regulation. Instead, if you look at it, the chairman, they went up to 29 months. My first question is, why this particular infraction? I was expecting the Oshinia to prompt the ministry from time to time that those who bought them have not paid. The professionalism of the auctioneer, Mr. Alex Smart, was questioned when he admitted his negligence in disposing of the state vehicles. Would you call what happened or that exercise an auction? No, Mr. Chairman. So you didn't undertake any auction? Mr. Chairman, I undertook auction. No. no. In the minds of some of us, you did debt collection, which you are probably not mandated to do. Am I right? Yes, on our watch. So the money paid you was not earned or was not due to you. Do you agree with me? Some way, yes. I May I know from Mr. Alex Matt? Relying on this document and others, whether or not payment of withholding tax was affected by his company on this 7% commission. That's my first question. He agreed that he did not deserve all the money earned on his job, but when asked if he refund some of the funds, he pleaded for mercy. You have admitted that what you are doing first was wrong. So any punishment applicable then shall be meted. Is that what you, are, you want to say? Honorable Chair, meaning uh, from now on was everything is in the right order. So whatever I've done in the past should be forgiven. <laughs> well, You'll be laughing, but at the appropriate time, you'll not laugh. In as much as we may accept the general apology of this having happened in the past, we still have an obligation towards the good people of Ghana to ask for a refund. I don't think that we should allow the auctioneer to keep the 7% when, in fact, what is contained in the audit report does not merit the type of work that should give him 7% of the proceeds. Mr. Chairman, I suggest to the committee that the auctioneer liaises with the auditors and then the part of the money that was not earned, he will, I mean, undertake, they will do the calculation plus interest and then report to us before we finalize our report. Officials of the Ministry of Food and Agriculture agreed that they have learned lessons from previous mistakes regarding auctioning of state vehicles and have made appropriate amendments to avoid similar mistakes in the future.